Hey guys, Dave from Wolf Art Hobbying here, and before we get to the painting tutorial that I've got set up for today, I wanted to thank you all for your continued support for my channel uh, and helping me grow the channel as well. Uh, I also want to thank Mini Wargaming for um, giving me the opportunity to do a collaboration with them, which has given my channel a lot more exposure uh, than it has seen in the past. Um, I want to also let you guys know that at the time of this recording I'm at 108 subscribers which is more than I thought I'd have uh, by this time. So I want to thank all the newcomers, I want to thank all the guys who have supported me from day one. Um, I will be getting back to doing Malifaux battle reports um, uh, it, with it being a new year and everything. I also want to let you know that I will be out of the country next week so there won't be a video going up. Uh, I wasn't able to get one prepared before leaving with all the holidays and uh, the craziness about that. But there will be a video going up the week after and I will uh, be pushing ahead to make sure that I've got enough recorded uh, for if I leave again. But I also wanted to let you guys know that um, I am going to be coming up with something to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers. Um, and there'll be more information on that so uh, check out my Facebook uh, I will be trying to update my Facebook a lot more than I have been um, and stay tuned for the bat reps I'm going to be doing Malifaux uh, I'm talking with a couple of my uh, guys that I play with here about doing uh, Mordheim and some kill team so uh, let me know what you guys would like to see and uh, I'll try and work on it and get, get some stuff going uh, as well as I have been looking into Infinity, so let me know if that's something you guys would like to see as well. I will just be learning the game, so if I do post any battle reports, please be gentle. Anyways guys, uh, we'll get ahead with the, um, the painting tutorial. Uh, I want to thank you guys for your support, and uh, I'll see you when I get back. Alright guys, so in this video we're going to take a look at an alternative way that I do flames. Um, I showed you a dry brushing type of way in my Avatar Forge World uh, painting series. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more of the standard color of fire. So to service uh, our example is going to be the Purifying Flame from the Sonya Creed box set. And to get us started I'm going to come in with a um, kind of a bright orange uh, with the blood letter glaze. Uh, it's kind of an orangey red. Um, and this, uh, as you can see, the model has been primed in white uh, and been base coated in white as well. So this is going to be very bright and vibrant. Um, so if you're looking for more of a, a darker uh, natural flame look, then I would probably uh, thin down uh, an orange, uh, the Jiraco orange from Citadel and do this step here instead of the blood letter. But I've chosen to go with this route. It's going to give us a very vibrant color uh, of orange and it's going to be more of a comic book style as I wanted him to stand out on the table um, and looking like he's burning very bright. So as you can see, I've kind of just selected where I'm going to be putting this. Um, with fire, it burns brightest at the uh, heat source so I wanted the orange to be coming off of his back um, and off the bones as I want the bones to kind of be more of the heat source so off camera I did a second coat as well as um, I brought it in closer to the skull than I originally planned um, as you can see here and the second coat just darkens it that's what I kind of like about the glaze is it allows you, it's very thin and it allows you to control uh, how much color is actually going on to the model. So keeping that in mind, I'm going to come in with some Averland Sunset and Lemain Medium. Uh, and we're going to thin this down to almost the consistency of a glaze. Um, a little bit thicker, but uh, we're going to focus this color um, more on the bones uh, structure of the model. So his chest, uh, the pelvis bone and all that. So just 
Like painting anything else, just going to work this color around the model and uh, when I get near the flames I'm going to kind of just flick my brush lightly on the model, um, kind of in an overbrush fashion uh, just to kind of give us a good transition. So as you can see here, this is what I am doing here, just lightly flicking uh, with it very thinned down like this. It looks like it's going on pretty heavy, but once it dries, uh, those two colors are going to kind of mix and give us a, a very good transition. Now you could have wet blended um, these colors or, or uh, whatever colors you choose to make your fire um, to get a pretty smooth transition too, uh, but I find this kind of fake glazing or whatever uh, to work just as uh, just as well um, if you're not that comfortable with wet blending like I am. So we've got a nice dark yellow uh, base to start with uh, and we're just going to kind of work from there and in a glazing fashion. So with that in mind we're going to come in now with uh, Uriel yellow and thin that down. Um, you could have skipped all this and if you wanted like almost like a neon fire you could have used the uh, yellow glaze and um, instead of these paints but I didn't want it to be too out of place I wanted it to have some kind of realistic colors so uh, that's what I was focusing on so here I'm focusing more on the front part of the bones uh, the underside of the arms and the back of the arms I and the legs I haven't hit with this um, yellow as again I want the front to be kind of the the heat source uh, so as you can see up by the head too, that yellow that we brought back uh, dried and really transitioned well with the orange Again, there's many ways you could do this. Uh, this is just one way. So while that one is uh, still wet, we're going to kind of do a wet blending um, with Flash Gets Yellow. Uh, I've thinned it down to a uh, glaze consistency as well. And this is where you could come in with that uh, Citadel Yellow Glaze. Um, and it looks like I do kind of fill in the facial features, but with it being thin, once it dries, all those features are gonna pop out. But I don't suggest you do that as you could lose some detail. But this guy's not really going for a whole bunch of detail on the model, so it didn't really affect me. So here I'm just picking out some spots that I want uh, to have a little bit more of a heat to it. So just the front part of the chest, um, the hands, some joints, uh, just anywhere you want to have kind of more of a heat source than the other parts of the body. So we're going to let this guy sit and dry for a bit and now we're going to come in with our next uh, color which is just going to be um, straight white. Uh, I'm using a reaper white but any white will do and we're not thinning this down and we're not doing any kind of glazing you could if you wanted to like really thin this down um, and and glaze with a smaller brush but I'm coming in with just the straight paint um, it is thinned down a little bit just to give me a little bit more workability with it um, but I'm being very selective of this uh, where I want this kind of highlight to be so where you're putting the white is where the fire is going to be burning the hottest. So I've elected to go for um, kind of just right down the middle of the chest, branching it out a little bit, um, the cheekbones, uh, some parts of the face, as well as other joints on the model. But uh, this step is completely up to you. You could have just left them with the yellow, but I wanted just a little bit more of a heat source look to him so as you can see just hitting the knee uh, his fingers I wanted them to be kind of uh, a little bit brighter so just quickly over brushing onto it and uh, that's about it guys that's uh, as far as I'm going to take that I might pick out a couple more spots to give it a little bit of a hot spot but as you can see uh, thinning our paints and kind of doing a glaze uh, really makes this model cool uh, in my opinion at least and uh, really blends it together well uh, 
I want to thank you all for watching the video. I want to thank you uh, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button too if you like this. Um, a link to my Facebook page will be in the video description below. So if you want to shoot me a message over there, feel free. Uh, as well as there will be a link to my Patreon account. So if you guys want to show me some uh, support that way, that would be amazing. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video and have yourselves a great day. Yeah.